Hello everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I had a great day. I went to Costco and I had a really positive shopping experience. It was busy, but it wasn't so busy that it was unpleasant. I was able to get down all of the aisles. I was able to film everything that I wanted to film. So I was really happy about that. So I can't wait to get you inside the store and show you everything that I saw for spring and summer. They had so many great summer things, a lot of outdoor stuff like chairs and pergolas and patio sets and um, gazebos and deck boxes and sheds. And they even had um, like some outdoor sporting stuff, stuff for golf. They had a lot of new grills. Uh, so many many things. So let's not hesitate. Let's get into the store and let me show you everything that I found. They did have some interesting things right in the entryway. If you were looking at these Pendleton thermoses before, these are now leaving the warehouse and they are $29.99. So get one while you can. I also spotted this and this was brand new to me. This is the blue diamond non-stick stainless steel pan. And this pan was actually $49.99. This smooth wrap hair dryer was also in the entryway and this is now on sale. So this is what it looks like and it comes with the diffuser as well as another attachment. This is what it looks like outside of the box. So it's kind of small, would be great for travel and it's on for $29.99. I also spotted this scooter. This looked really cool for your little ones. Um, it did have a two-year warranty on it, which is great to know. It is for kids ages six and up, and it was $99.99. They had a lot of new summer lighting for outdoors. This was right in the entryway, and this was actually a two-pack of the hanging solar lights. So they came with that kind of long hook that you could hang them on, and I really liked the detail in the iron. I think that those would look really pretty hung up, and they were only $31.99 for the two lights, so great price. Also in the entryway was this four pack of bench t-shirts for women, came in a couple of different color varieties. This one came with two black and two white t-shirts. And then this one came with a navy blue, gray, rose, and sort of a deeper, sort of a dusty rose color. Um, these are super great for summer, just a nice light casual t-shirt. And these were on sale for $14.99. Also in the entryway were these Puma hats. They came in both the white and the black. They had some SPF to them, so I think it was 40 SPF, and they also had some ventilation in them. They were nice and light, would be really good. Your head wouldn't feel too hot in the summer. They were $9.99. They also had these hoodies for men. I thought that these would be great in terms of moving from winter into spring. They weren't too heavy, so you want to wear one on those days where you need a little warmth but not a jacket. They were $22.99. And these were great for transitioning into spring as well. They were sweaters, but they were short sleeve sweaters, and they were very light. They came in a variety of colors. They were for women, and they were $16.99. I loved these swim sets for the little ones. They came with the rash guard. They also came with the shorts or the skirt for some of the girls sets and the hat. So everything you need for keeping your child protected from the sun when you're at the pool or the beach in the summer. They had a few different style varieties. So two different colors for the girls and then also two different colors and patterns for the boys. Like this little shark set and whale set that I thought were really cute. And they were $19.99 for those pieces. Peckle had some new pajama sets out. So this was a four piece pajama set. Came with a pair of long pants with a short sleeve and then another short sleeve with some shorts. So this is great because you are now getting a pair of PJs for spring and a pair of PJs for summer for $18.99. I loved these bench sets for girls. I actually wish that they had them in women's, but they didn't. Uh, this came with a little light sweatshirt as well as some sweat shorts, and they were $19.99. These I thought were so nice. These were the men's Gap Twill Joggers. I actually ended up picking up a pair of these for my son. They were really great quality. I haven't seen a ton of Gap stuff in Costco, so I was pleased to see them. They came in a variety of colors and they were $21.99. 
This was another four piece set for kids. They came in sizes five to 12. They had two different designs for girls as well as two different designs for boys. They came with two t-shirts and two pair of shorts. So that's a really good deal. And the shorts were nice and light. Really, really great for summer. This is what the boys ones look like. So they had the red and the black. That one also came with a black t-shirt and gray shorts. And then they also had this blue set. And there's the other design for the girls. And they were $24.99. They had these cat sets for little boys that I thought were super cute. Again, a great transition outfit for going into spring. They each came with a sweatshirt as well as a pair of sweatpants. There was the red sweater, the blue sweater, and then I really liked this one with the tractor on it. I loved kind of the, the faded sort of grayish black pants. And they were $12.99 for those sets. They had some Nike sweatpants for kids. You don't see a ton of Nike stuff come into the warehouse, but when you do, it usually gets snapped up pretty quickly. And these were $16.99 for those sweatpants. And then for $17.99, they had these twill joggers for the little guys. So they had them in khaki. I loved this light denim. They were so cute. And then a dark, darker denim. And again, they were $17.99. They had these capri pants for women. They looked like they had a button on them, but they actually were just pull-on ones. So they had a lot of stretch to them. Really, really comfortable looking. They came in this nice dusty blue color, black, burgundy, and also beige for $18.99. Now, I was very tempted to get these. These were new to me. They had these shorts that were so light and silky smooth. It, they felt like butter. They came in that hot pink, which I wanted, the purple, the black, and also beige, and they were $15.99. And then they also had the matching sweatshirts. And again, these were nice and light. They weren't too heavy. They felt like butter. I am not kidding you. They were so soft. They came in black, pink, purple, and gray. They were $20. I'm going to wait and see if they go on sale, and I might pick up a set of them. They also had these kids hooded towels that I thought were super cute. They had a variety of designs. So the flamingo ones, they had ones with hearts. They had some ones with crocodiles, some ones with butterflies and space, and they were $19.99. And they had these planters. I thought these were really nice. They were really great quality ceramic planters on sale for $59.99. So a really great price for a large planter like that. They had some more of these two packs of the solar pathway lights. Uh, these were also really, really pretty. Would be great for lining along your pathway up to your front door. Super pretty even for lining up in your garden. And they were $29.99. They also have this set of string lights. These were 48 feet in length, and these are fantastic for hanging in a gazebo or a pergola or even just kind of on the edge of your deck or fence. They were super pretty. I think they would ha have a great look in your backyard for $49.99. And they had this four pack of the solar LED pathway lights. They were a little more simple. They didn't have as much of a pattern in the iron, but it did come with four lights. So if you are looking for something a little bit more simple, and you want to get more bang for your buck, more lights in the package. They were $39.99. They also had this cedar planter box. This was really, really nice. This is what it looked like inside. This would be great if you wanted to just have maybe a small vegetable garden and you don't have a ton of room in your yard. And it was self-watering. So I thought that was fantastic. And it was only $169.99. I thought that was a pretty good price for that. They also had this one. So it was a little fancier looking. Um, it was actually a resin material. Again, would be great for a small vegetable garden, or even for flowers if you don't want to have to water them yourself. And that was $189.99. This little hose, what do we call it? Hideaway, a hose hideaway. These are so great. We have something like this in our backyard. It just helps your hose not to get all tangled up. And it was $119.99. And if you need a new hose to put inside of your little hose hideaway, they did have this as well. And this was $39.99. They also had this artificial turf. So they showed that you could use it maybe on a patio or you could even use it indoors, which was kind of neat if you're going for that kind of look. And it was $119.99. 
They also had this picnic table. It had the hole in the center so you could put an umbrella on it. It was that kind of really durable resin material and it was $224.99. And it was sitting underneath one of these gazebos, which I thought was really, really nice. I would love to have one of these in my backyard. And this was $19.99.99 for that gazebo. They also had this really large deck box and it was on sale for $160. This would fit a lot of your patio gear. So like your cushions, your pillows, all of that kind of stuff that you keep on your furniture would all fit in that. This was a really nice market umbrella. They had them in a few different colors, gray, navy blue, and red, and they had LED lights on them. So that would look really nice at night. And that was only $219.99. I thought this chair was really neat looking. This little wood chair, it looked like a cedar. I loved the stain on it. Really, really nice for a patio. And that was $84.99. And these were a steal. I could not believe the price of these for the size of the rugs. I am looking for a rug for my patio. These were $46.99. I may have to go back and get one of these. And this was a shade that you could hang on your porch or even from one of those gazebos just to have a little bit of shade from the sun. They didn't have the price on it and they also didn't have the price on this. This was a really nice looking patio set. Again, some of this stuff is just coming into the warehouse, so I'm sure these prices will be posted soon, but they did have this. They didn't have a ton of them, so if you're interested in a new set, this was really nice looking. So head out to Costco and check it out. They also had this three-piece patio set. This looked really comfortable to me. I loved how it came with the ottoman and the little table. Would be great on a small porch or a small deck, and it's on sale for $6.99.99. And they had these wicker chairs. These honestly looked like hotel quality wicker chairs. And they were $269.99. Great quality. And they had this three-piece set as well. I loved these chairs. They looked super comfy. And they also came with the table. And the chairs were recliners, which is a really nice feature. Again, this would look great on a patio or a small deck. I loved the wicker look to it. That's what it looked like outside of the box. And it was $1,500 for that set. They had a lot of different bicycles, both for adults and for children. A lot of them were mountain bikes. A lot of the kids' bikes were $489.99, which I think is a pretty decent price for a mountain bike. Again, these were great quality bikes. The adult bikes were $650. They had a lot of new grills in the warehouse and they came in a variety of sizes at a variety of costs. So this was the largest grill that they had. This one did several things, sear, smoke, sizzle, bake, barbecue, roast. It had a really large cooking surface and it also came with the barbecue cover. So every grill I saw came with the cover. It also had this side burner on it and it was $18.99.99. This was the next largest grill that I saw. This was a Weber grill. It again had an extremely large cooking surface, which is fantastic if you love to grill. It also came with the side burner and this one was $1649.99. This was another fairly large grill. Again, it did several different things. It even had rotisserie on it. It came with a side shelf as well as the side burner, just like the other ones. And it also had a very large cooking surface and came with the cover. And this one was $11.99.99. And this one was a little bit smaller, but it was a little bit lower in price. I liked that it also came with the griddle. So you could even cook your breakfast on this barbecue if you would like to. And it also had the side burner, just like the other grills. It came with the barbecue cover and it was $3.99.97. If you are looking for a portable grill to take with you camping, they also have those at Costco. They had this one. It was a Next Grill. It was a really nice little portable grill and it was $170. And they also had this one by Napoleon. This was a little bit smaller than the other one, but it looked to be very, very good quality. I think Napoleon is a pretty good brand. I liked that it had the latch that you could lock for travel, and this one was $199.99. If you are looking for a barbecue grill cover, we know that these can get 
kind of destroyed over the years. They were $39.99. And they had this little chimnea for your patio. This would be so, so pretty on your patio for $369.99. That's what it looks like, just gorgeous. And they also had this patio heater. So if you wanna use your patio right into the fall or you wanna use it on those chilly nights, they did have this to keep you and your guests warm and it was $399.99. I spotted a lot of camping gear, like this two pack of Duracell lanterns. This is leaving the warehouse and they're $29.99. And they also had a lot of life vests. So the adult life vests were $56.99. They had them in both men's and women's and they also had some children's life vests they were a great price so if you have a cottage you do a lot of boating head to costco those were 28.99 they also had this travel hammock so this would be great to bring camping with you and it came in the carry case that was 29.99 and they also had this pop-up gazebo it was an easy setup one it said it was one push to set it up so that sounds great for camping at 279.99 they also had this portable cot for camping. It folded up. It came with a little carry case with a strap and it was $70. And if you are a golfer and you're looking for some golf balls for this season, they had a couple of different sets of them. This was the Kirkland set. It came with 24 balls in it and it was $36.99 for that. And then they also had this, the Callaway golf set. Again, there were 24 balls in this pack and these were $54.99. They also had these, the putters. These were the Kirkland putters. I don't know how great the Kirkland brand is for golf gear, but you know, let me know in the comments below. And they were $180 and they are leaving the warehouse. They also had this caddy. So if you want to take this to the golf course and make your life a little bit easier so you don't have to carry your golf bag, this was $180 for that caddy set. And they also had this golf umbrella for those really hot days out on the golf course. You might need something like this. And that was $24.99 for that umbrella. And they also had these Callaway golf bags. So if you're in the market for a new golf bag for this season, this might be a good option for you. It even had a built-in cooler bag in it, which I thought was kind of neat. And that was $214.99. This was really cool. I've never seen this before. This was an ax throwing set. So this would be great for your backyard or even just keeping at the cottage. I think kids would love that. It was $99.99. And the axes were soft, they were safe. They also had this. It did not have a price on it, but it looked super cool. I think your kids would love that. I also spotted some indoor lighting like this hanging pendant light. It was really gorgeous. It threw off some really great light. I loved how it kind of sparkled. It was on sale for $99.99. And then they also had these wall sconces. And the great thing about these was they changed color. So you could have a warm white if you would like, or you could have the cool white. You can see it changing there. Hopefully you can pick that up on the video so those would be really pretty and you could set which light you wanted they were on sale for $39.99 and the shark hyper air dryer is back in the warehouse this has been out of stock at my costco for a little bit it is comparable to the dyson but at a much lower price that was $200 for that dryer they also had these Puma runners for women. They had them in this, the full black. They also had them in black and white. And these were only $44.99. And if you like Tom's, they also had these. They came in a couple of different colors. So that, that was the black pair. They also came in navy blue and they came in gray. This was like playing a game of Jenga. So I didn't want to pull them all out to show you the colors, but that was the navy blue pair and they were $37.99. They also had these organic dish towels. So there were four towels in the set. They came in that nice yellow, the gray. They also came in navy blue as well as this really pretty sagey green color. These were really nice quality. I really like the patterns on them and I believe it was four towels, but I'm looking now and it may even be six towels. That was $15.99. This looked so delicious to me. Would be great for Easter dessert. $9.99 for this lemon poppy seed loaf. And they also had these carrot cakes. So delicious. $9.99 
Great for Easter and super cute looking too. I had never seen these before. These were red velvet chocolates. So they were I didn't, kind of like a, a soft ganache that was on the inside of them. That's the calorie count on those. So 250 calories. They looked super delicious to me and they were $13.99. So I am now home from Costco. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that trip around the store. So let's go inside and I will show you my haul. Okay, so this is my haul. This is what I picked up today at Costco. My total was $190.91. However, I had a $102, um, what would you call it? Like a check or a coupon because of my executive membership. So with the executive membership, you are getting cash back on all of your purchases. And so I ended up over the course of the year accumulating $120 worth, or sorry, $102 worth. And so I was able to put that towards this. And so it was only $88. So that is pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. If you don't have an executive membership, you may want to consider trying it because if you shop at Costco a lot, like I do, it does end up paying off. You do get quite a bit of cash back. I also have the Costco, um, Costco MasterCard and it's great. I get cash back with that as well. So I'm getting a lot of cash back, not just for shopping at Costco, um, but even shopping outside of Costco with that Costco MasterCard. So consider those things. I know I've mentioned them before, um, let's get into this haul. Let me show you everything I picked up. A lot of it was produce because I am eating more clean. I've been eating a lot more vegetables and fruit for snacks, which is fantastic. Uh, but also I'm running out of it really quickly. So I'm having to replenish it a lot. So I decided to go to Costco, maybe get a bigger container of some of these items so that I don't run out quite as quickly. Okay, so let's start here. These were the Gap Twill Joggers. They were the men's Twill Joggers. These were 22, sorry, $21.99 for these. So I picked these up for my son. I figured they would be good for going into spring. He really just likes to wear sweatpants. And so these are kind of a little bit dressier than a sweatpant, but they have a sweatpant, you know, look and feel to them. So I figured he would like those and they were the Gap. I see a lot of Gap stuff at Sam's Club. I don't see a lot of Gap stuff typically at Costco. So it was interesting to see some of that there. Um, and I decided to grab those. I thought it was actually a really good price for Gap pants. Okay, and the Doritos. These are also for my son and my husband. These were $7.49. I feel like the price of Doritos has gone up but it is a great big bag. They do love Doritos. They'll be fighting over these. I mean, last time I bought them, I think my husband hid them on my son and my son was asking where they were. They're crazy. They almost need to have their own bag of Doritos, but I did pick up the one bag, so they're gonna have to work that out. And I grabbed the Kirkland bath tissue. I get this quite frequently. So there are 30 rolls in here, 425 sheets per roll. I find it to be pretty decent. I know some people are not crazy about this, but I don't mind it. I find it soft enough. I like the price. And this was $21.99 for this package of toilet paper. I also grabbed this. This is the Maple Leaf Shredded Chicken. So it comes in a two pack. I will often buy this at Walmart and I don't know that I've ever seen it at Costco before. So I was happy to see the two pack of it. This was $16.99 for the two pack of this, which I think is pretty comparable to what you're gonna pay uh, in a regular grocery store. The expiry is June 9th. So it does have a decent expiry date on it. I will use this for tons of different things. So I will put this inside of pasta. A lot of times I make soups, homemade soups in the Instant Pot. I will put that in there. I will put it in a salad. I will put it in a wrap. So there's multiple uses for this and that's why I pick it up. And, and I really do think that the chicken is actually decent quality. I haven't had any complaints about the quality of the chicken. It's not chewy, it's nice and moist. It's decent. So I'm glad that I saw that at Costco. And again, that was $16.99 for that. This was $17.99. So this is the Kirkland Signature Lunch Meat. So it comes with the turkey 
It comes with the ham and it comes with the chicken. I will get this a lot because my husband just likes the variety. So he likes that it comes with the turkey and the ham and the chicken. So it's not like three packs of the same kind of lunch meat. The only thing I don't like is it's not nitrate free. So that's not the best. And sometimes I will buy other kinds that are nitrate free, but he does like the variety of this one. So I decided to grab it again. It was $17.99 for that. It is a good quality lunch meat but it would be better. I would like it better if it was nitrate free. So Kirkland, come on, let's give us a nitrate free lunch meat. Okay. I also grabbed some bananas. These were $1.69 for the bunch. I've, I know I've mentioned this several times. We go through bananas like crazy. Sometimes I will eat them for breakfast in my cereal. My son will often eat one for breakfast and my husband will often bring one for lunch. So we will go through these pretty quickly and then I will be out buying more bananas before I know it. Okay, I also grabbed these berries. These were the organic strawberries. They were $9.99 for this. I do believe they had a cheaper package of strawberries, but they weren't the organic. I don't always buy organic. Like I am not stuck on getting organic produce. I, I don't care too much about that. I care more about price. But the reason I got these is they just looked so good. They looked much better than the non-organic ones, like in terms of the freshness and the size of them and everything. So I decided to grab those. And again, those were $9.99. And then I grabbed a package of these mini cucumbers. I have been going through cucumbers like crazy. I'm putting them in salads for lunch. I am, you know, cutting them up for snacks. I'll often cut them up for snacks for my son's lunch as well. So I decided to go with these mini cucumbers and these were $4.99 for this pack. And it's two pounds of cucumbers. All right, so it's a March 20, am I seeing? March 24th, oh, packed on March 24th. Okay, I almost panicked and thought they were expiring. They're not expiring. So that's good news, but we'll eat these up really, really quickly. And then I spotted some watermelon. I haven't seen watermelon for a while. And this was $6.49, but it was $1.50 off of that. Okay, for this watermelon. And they were mini watermelons, but I actually thought they were a pretty good size for a mini watermelon. Pretty decent. So hopefully it's a good quality watermelon. Hopefully it tastes nice and sweet. We'll see. I'm going to cut that up. I wanted to do it tonight, but I have to teach dance tonight. I don't think I'm going to have time but I'll do that tomorrow uh, so that it gets used up. Because I find if I don't prep my produce, then that's when things get wasted because I, I run out of time. I think, oh, I, I don't feel like cutting that up. So I'm going to cut everything up. I'm going to wash all of this, get it all ready. And then I know it's going to get finished. Okay, I also got some organic blueberries. That's all I saw was the organic blueberries this time around. I didn't see any other kinds of blueberries. These were also $9.99 for these, but they look really good. I don't know if they're gonna be as good as those Sam's Club ones. Those were the best, those jumbo Sam's Club ones, uh, but I'm hoping they will be. I've been eating a lot of blueberries. I put them in my overnight oats, or, or I'll just put them in yogurt and eat them, so. I figured I can't go wrong with this big package of blueberries. I know that I will finish them. I also grabbed these organic baby carrots. These were $8.99 for this two pack of the carrots. I send these a lot with my son for lunches. Sometimes I've been snacking on them lately or I'll bring them in my lunch. So I thought, you know, one of the bags we can use for that. And then the other bag I can use maybe for roasting because I will sometimes do that, just roast some baby carrots and some olive oil with some seasoning, salt and pepper, and they're pretty good. And then I grabbed the organic baby spinach. So I've been taking a lot of salads for my lunches. So I've been going through this really, really quickly. This was $4.99 for this package of the baby spinach. And I like baby spinach because it lasts. I find it lasts longer than, you know, romaine or spring mix or whatever. Um, so that's why I usually will get the baby spinach for my salads. And then I grabbed these apples. These were the Empire apples. I don't typically buy the Empire apples, but they looked pretty good to me. Sometimes my family will complain that the apples are too big that I get from Costco. I don't know why. They want something smaller. I don't know. So I grabbed these Empire apples. These were, 
let me find it, $6.99. So they were a little bit cheaper than uh, the Gala or Gala, I don't know what we call them, one of the two. They were a little bit cheaper, so I grabbed these. Hopefully they're good. Hopefully my family likes them. I'm sure they will be. Um, I typically like to make some baked apples out of these as well. So I'll just like peel them and then slice them up and then put a little bit of like honey, cornstarch, maybe a little bit of brown sugar, and then I bake them. Or, or is not, no, not brown sugar. It's just the honey. I just do the cornstarch and then the cinnamon. That's what I do. And then I'll just bake them in the oven. And it's kind of like having an apple pie filling, but without the pie. So it's a little bit healthier for me. I feel like I'm having kind of a treat for, for dessert and I'm not getting like all of the calories that go along with that. All right, I also got the cheese buns. These were $8.99 for the 12 pack of these cheese buns. My husband loves these. He's gonna be so happy with me when he sees them and he'll be using them for his sandwiches probably for the rest of the week. And then I grabbed the Cozy Shack rice pudding. I know rice pudding is not everybody's thing. I've always liked rice pudding, like since I was a kid. So I, I love the Cozy Shack brand. That's the best brand. I've been eating this a lot, again, as kind of a treat dessert. So on Noom, it's considered a yellow food, which is kind of your middle. You've got your green foods, your yellow foods, your red foods, and your yellow are you're eating with in moderation. And so I will grab these because it's actually kind of a decent dessert on noon. And these were actually on sale. So they're regular $6.49 and they were $2 off. So I thought that was a really good deal and it comes with 12 of the individual snack cups in there. And then I grabbed the Little Northern Bakehouse gluten-free bread. This is the seeds and grains. I do prefer the white, the Little, Bo sorry, Little Northern Bakehouse white because it's it's like a bigger slice I don't know I like it better these are smaller slices but they don't have the white at Costco so when I'm at Costco I will get this because I do like it a lot um it's good so I get this this is a two pack of this it's better toasted I will say it's not really big in terms of making sandwiches but I guess it keeps the size of your sandwich down so that's not a bad thing, I guess. And this is $10.99 for the two pack. I mean, you're gonna spend double the price on gluten-free bread. It's just the way it is, but my gut likes it better. And so that's what I get. Okay, I got this gluten-free pizza. So this is a two pack of the pizza. I actually find this to be a pretty good quality gluten-free pizza. I don't notice as much that it is gluten-free. So some gluten-free pizzas, you really can tell that it's gluten-free. This one, not as much. So I will typically pick this up and my whole family will eat this. So that's what's great. It's it's not just me. They'll eat it and they don't complain. They don't even know it's gluten-free. So that's great. And this was $16.99 for the two pack of the pizzas. So obviously it is more expensive than the regular um, Sabatasso, is that what we say? Sabata, yeah, sound it out, Dawn. Sabatasso's pizza, but it's gluten-free. So gluten-free is more expensive, but it's, but it's good. So if you do eat gluten-free, I would definitely give that a try. I also grabbed a case of the Kirkland water. That was $3.49. It's so heavy. I didn't bother to put it on the counter, but I did grab that as well. So that's it, that is my haul. And again, I saved $102 on this haul by having my executive membership. So I only spent $88 on it, not bad. I mean, it still seems like, really, this would have been, you got $102 off this, but we know how expensive everything is, especially if you're shopping gluten-free or you're buying organic produce. It is what it is. Right, And I also got the chicken and the lunch meat. So that's it. That's my haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click like and subscribe as that really helps out my channel. I hope you had a great day and I will see you on a new day.